This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on this Re Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, this is the i4 model. This keyboard is the dual mode one, so it's got a touchpad as well as a backlit keyboard and it's got a little scroll wheel. Uh, this keyboard can be used with various different devices. It has the 2.4 gigahertz little uh, USB adapter as well as Bluetooth. It's got a built-in rechargeable battery. I'm going to be using this specifically on my Raspberry 4 devices, but you can also use it on any Raspberry model, I believe. Xbox, Android TV boxes, HTPC, I think all Windows machines, basically anything. So like I said, it has an LED backlit keyboard, which is really cool. I believe this is a smooth surface. It's not physical buttons. Um, what makes this model special compared to the rest is the little scroll wheel and it has the triggers on top. So that was one of the reasons I picked up this model. So I'm going to go ahead and start the unboxing. I believe you can also connect this to your uh, TV as well. So first thing in the box, we have a USB B type cable, very thin, not a very uh, thick one. So it's a low quality cable, but it's only going to be used for charging anyway. It's got decent length to it. And that's it in the box other than the instructions. So there's the keyboard itself. It's fairly lightweight. You got an on off switch right here. Touchpad feels nice. I don't think that's a sticker. I think that's physically on there. Oh, it is physical buttons on there, so that's great. Left, right triggers, scroll wheel. Feels uh, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the battery. So, nice little compartment to store the USB key so you don't lose it. This is in case you don't want to connect it through Bluetooth. The battery itself, 700 milliamps, 3.7 watt. Very fairly standard battery, nothing too fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this and then I will continue with the video. All right, so I've gone ahead and charged the keyboard. Uh, it didn't take too long. I'd say on a fast charger, it took maybe about 30 minutes, but the battery already had some juice in it, so it wasn't too bad. So I do want to mention again, it has Bluetooth and then it has the RF 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology. The uh, Bluetooth built into this is 4.0, not the latest, but still pretty good. Um, the charging current for this is 300 milliamps, so just uh, watch out for that if you're using a physical power plug on the USB. Uh, make sure you have one of those uh, plugs that have the, the power range, the, the fluctuate in power, uh, or just plug it in through USB and it should regulate uh, accordingly. Uh, some really cool features on this before I get to the demo. It has a function key. So the function key is right here. So when you hit function and then you hit the appropriate key, it'll uh, give you features. So if I was to go function caps, it'll turn on the 2.4 gigahertz RF. Function tab that turns on Bluetooth. Uh, function uh, two will be like an F3 key. Uh, function enter is control alt delete so little neat features like that that are added in as well to pair your bluetooth device basically you hold function and control for two seconds wait for it to flash and then uh, you open up your device and search for the i4 keyboard and connect to it so the way i'm going to do this uh, demo is i'm actually going to connect it onto my phone so i'm going to start by sliding it to the on and then i'm going to open up bluetooth on my key on my phone here Place it right next to it. And then turn down the light so we can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, you can't, I will focus that in a minute, so don't worry. So we'll start by going function, tab for two seconds. One, two, and then it's blinking blue. And then on my phone, you can see I4. So now it's asking to pair. It's pairing and it's paired on there as well. So now it says I4 connected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, whoop, opened up Shazam by accident somehow. So if you press the arrow keys, it's going through my apps. I'm gonna go ahead and open, um, 
notepads in a second, but if I use the scroll key, it goes through the pages, which is cool. Press the home button, goes home, volume up, volume down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type something in here. So let me just open up notepad. So here's a blank notepad. And then I'm gonna type in micbot, M, I, C, B, O, T, enter. And simple as that. So if you press the R button, it looks like it opens up the copy paste undo. Uh, left is a shortcut key for that on my phone. If I slide with a touchpad, you can see the little uh, cursor moving around there. Give me a sec. It's hard to see on the phone. But there is a little cursor moving around when I use the touchpad, which is really neat. Also, if I use the touchpad, there's a little mouse. You can see it on my phone here. So I'm going to push the R key. That's for tracking. Scroll. So there's a touchpad. So that's how it works on my phone. It'll work very similar on the Raspberry Pi, on your Windows machine, your TV, and all that. So I'm going to also pair this to my TV shortly. I won't demo that. So that's how simple it is to set this keyboard up. So other than that, is it worth the $30 on Amazon? Price-wise, maybe not, but it is a really neat keyboard. It really will come down to the battery's life and how long the battery lasts. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it is a good buy, just it is expensive for what it is. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like my video, please hit the uh, like button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. My butt out.